Now, good day, viewers. Today, um, I'll bring to you what I titled Euthanasia and Assisted Suicide. So, today, we'll be talking about euthanasia and assisted suicide in our jurisdictions in Nigeria. So, we'll look at what are the the legal, the legal, the legal brand. Is there any penal, penal code or laws that actually, you know, in support of this practice in our jurisdictions? You know, what is the constitution saying about that? We also look at the definitions, we we'll look at the type in the form of euthanasia and diverse opinions on euthanasia. So these are the things we'll be talking about today. So please, we do believe that um, you had the best of time in our previous video. You know, I'm talking about the topic on abortion law in Nigeria. Please do not forget why you visit this video. Do not forget to subscribe and also drop your comments at the comment section. Now, the question on the existence of rights to, to die by euthanasia, otherwise, or also refers to mercy killing and assisted suicide, is the one that transcends national boundaries and diverse legal systems. Now, due to the region of legal systems, this practice was formerly or it was, it was known as illegal or criminalized. However, due to advancement in medical technology, remarkably greater ability was recorded in order to sustain or prolong human life far beyond what was ever thinking possible. And also the human rights at the, 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 the high demand or increase of human rights has, has made many countries in the world to make an act or to make law in support of euthanasia and assisted suicide. Such of such countries are, for instance, we have the U.S. United Nations. I mean, what's it called? The United States of America. They are in support of assisted suicide. We have Belgium. We have Netherlands. We support euthanasia. We have uh, what's it called? India. India support passive euthanasia. So, so what I'm trying to say now. Before this time, though it was, it was illegal, it was something that was, you know, it was, you know, highly frowned out. But because of, you know, there are need for these things. There are need for these things to be taking place. And there are laws that have been put in place that some of these things have to be coming out. And this is why this video is being made available or is to be exposed to our, you know, our, you know, exposed our understanding and brings to our knowledge that actually there is laws in support of euthanasia. But before then, I want to look, uh, we'll talk about this. There are two schools, the proponent of euthanasia and the opponent of euthanasia. Now, the proponent of euthanasia believe that, you know, that if a man enjoyed quite a wonderful life while he was in a proper state, why can that man also enjoy a good death? Why can't he die in a proper way? Why must he be you know, undergoes a lot of pains and agony before he actually died? For that reason, this school supports euthanasia in all, in all totality. They support in it too. They believe that man's to also enjoy good dead. Now, there are other schools, like I told you, the, op the proponent and the opponent. The opponent of these schools, they, they do believe that their they, 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 they argument is based on the 
principles of sanctity of human life. They say that life is sacrosanct, that it is not something that anyone will have to just end it, that man has to die naturally on their own. Their arguments may be actually based on one legality, ethical, moral, social, and economic pillars. So these are the two schools in actually in in charge as it relates to euthanasia. Now before the colonial masters arrival in our traditions, euthanasia in some communities was highly prohibited. It was a taboo. In a situation whereby a person is being killed in a particular community, that body has to be buried in an evil forest. And there, are, there, is, there is a need, they must make a provision for an atonement and cleansing of that environment or that community. This was a place. In other words, Indonesia was highly prohibited. There's also, you know, other jurisdictions who practice something similar or quasi something that is quasi to Indonesia. For instance, we have the the West West part of Nigeria, the Yorubas, the presenting of calabash to the Alifel, this was an act of, you know, committing suicide. Where the Alifel is runs out of favor from the soldier, it was believed that he has to commit suicide as a result of running out of favor. In other words, he is no longer needed. The, the, soldier, the soldiers no longer need him. So, what he has to do as at that point was to commit suicide. Having said that, now we are going to look at the definition of euthanasia and assisted suicide. According to the Black Law Dictionary, defines euthanasia as an act or practice of causing or hastening the death of a person suffering from incurable or no, uh, 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 terminal disease, especially uh, uh, a condition, uh, such a, or a condition, especially a painful one, for reason of mercy, for reason of mercy. Now, Encyclopedia Britannica defines euthanasia as painless putting to death of a person suffering from incurable or incapacitating brain disorder or allowing them to die by with withholding treatment or withdrawing artificial life support measure. Now assisted suicide assisted suicide is, as it connotes, is an intentional act whereby a person provides medical means or medical knowledge to bring about or to, to bring about committing to bring about committing suicide. Where a doctor is involved, it is known as physician's assisted suicide. So this is what uh, euthanasia's and assisted suicide is all about. Now when we will talk about the form and type of euthanasia. Now we have three type, uh, three form of uh, euthanasia. We have um, Okay, three types of euthanasia. We have voluntary euthanasia, we have non-voluntary, and we have involuntary euthanasia. But before we look at the type, let's dis let's discuss the form of euthanasia. There are two top form of euthanasia. We have active euthanasia and passive euthanasia. Active euthanasia, according to the blood Law 
revolutionaries. This is, is, uh, is, uh, this is a process whereby a person is being put to death is actually conducted by a facilitator. A facilitator such as the healthcare practitioners. He provides the means to bring about death. Not just pro it is not it's not just providing the means, but he also involved in the final bringing about of the death. Now we have passive euthanasia as another form of euthanasia. Passive euthanasia is a situation whereby a person is being fined in permanent vegetative state. You know, at this point, the person has to be in, in he's been allowed to be in that state. And as a result of that, what they will have to do is to withdraw treatment, to withdraw treatment or withdraw, uh, withhold, they with, okay, withhold treatment or withdraw life supporting uh, uh, measure. For instance, respiratory, respiratory or feeding tube. For instance, so once this has is been is been is been taken in place, now the person has to die in that or on that one. Now, um, type of euthanasia. We have voluntary type of uh, euthanasia. We have non-voluntary and we have uh, involuntary euthanasia. Euthanasia, uh, voluntary euthanasia. This is a, a, a type of euthanasia whereby the, the the victims or the persons who is involved give a consent in advance. Actually, this is actually being carried out in a a living will. For instance, the person drop a living will just in case. Just in case. So this is a type of euthanasia. Now there's a uh, other type of euthanasia. The non uh, non voluntary euthanasia. This is a situation whereby an incompetent, uh, yeah, whereby consent has been taken, or by an incompetent person. You know, in this form of euthanasia, the person who is involved, he cannot actually give. You know, he can't give his consent. He cannot give his consent as a result of the state where he found himself. The involuntary uh, euthanasia, this type of euthanasia is highly frowned out. You know, this type, it, gets no, it has nothing to do with incompetence of, a, of the uh, facilitator, but the consent of the person is, has not been obtained. So, involuntary euthanasia is Highly criminalized. It is not permitted. It's not permitted in any jurisdictions. Now we will look at the case of um, Arena Shamba versus Union of India. This is a case where a nurse who was working in a, in a Indian hospital was sexually was uh, no, was victim of sexual uh, sexual violence as a result of this you know assault she sustained several brain damage which leads to her permanent vegetative state so the the, the lady had been in this situation for over 42 years there was nothing, she was in that state, she was totally, you know, uh, incapacitated. She could not carry out anything throughout her life until she finally died on 2015. In 2011, the Supreme Court of India, you know, passed a judgment for 
the passive utilizers to be carrying cash due to the uh, due to the case of the loss that was involved in a seizure filing. So that's brought about where the as a result of the judgment of the cause, India now you know made law for passive utilization. India made law for passive utilization. Now we want to come back to our own jurisdictions. Is there any law in Nigeria that that is in support of euthanasia or assisted suicide? Is there any provisions? Actually, there is no clear, there is no clear definition or there is no clear law whatsoever. There is no law that has been made. It's okay. This law is actually for euthanasia. But if you look at the 1999 Constitution, the chapter IV that made provision for human rights, as this as you know, inevitably or made available the right for ones, the rights that we made provision can also be looked at that this right can also extend to right of um, euthanasia. You see, the pen the, 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 the the penal laws of the country is statutory. Is a statutory. For instance, there are provisions in the law. If you look at section 306, as I quote, it said, it is unlawful to take the life of anyone or to kill anyone or self or unless such killing is justified. Is just yeah, if the killing has to be justified, it has to be accused by law or it has to be authorized. Section 306. Now, when such provision is being made, this is to tell you that you know euthanasia has been made you know available according to the criminal code. The criminal code, section 306. Recognize euthanasia. Although, you know, in that session, they did not talk directly about euthanasia, but it has made provision for euthanasia. If you look at section 336, 300, section 300, section 302, section 303, section 304, section 305, section 320. 27 and 29, all of these sessions make provision. They make provision for euthanasia. Where they talk about surgical operations, where they talk about duty of care of parents, all of these are the sessions whereby euthanasia have been made available. Though it was not directly stated of um, euthanasia, but in interpretation of it, euthanasia have been the international law have been made available in the, in Nigeria judicial under the criminal code 2014 as amended. So, um, thank you very much. Like I said, uh, earlier said, I do believe that um. Why you visit or you navigate through this channel that you are going to drop subscription your subscriptions and you are going to subscribe and drop your comments at the comment section. You know, this lecture, like I said, is for educational purpose. It's to expand our knowledge of, about the, the 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 events, the things that is happening in our environment. What we need to know about our laws, it is very, very important. You know, with last, like our last video, we talk about abortion. A lot of person never know that um, abortion is actually, you know, is uh, illegal, and there is no legal, uh, legal backing to that. So this, on this very video, we talk about euthanasia. My name remains Innocence Atten. Okay. Hope you guys like this program.
bring more blessed as you, you know, as we bring to you again our next 